So for the next two videos, we'll be talking about motivational interviewing. And today we're going to be focusing on beliefs and motivations and also talking about reflective listening. Motivational interviewing is a technique used to encourage change talk, which basically means talking to someone in a way which encourages them to think about reasons for change, exploring their desire, ability, need and commitment for change. The basic principles of motivational interviewing are based around a style of warmth and empathy that improves self-esteem and confidence that change can occur. Asking key questions and using reflective listening can gently challenge an individual's ambivalence towards change. There are four principles of motivational interviewing. People need to be confident and motivated before attempting to change. Listen. Don't tell people what to do. And let your friend tell you that they need to change. One of the principles of motivational interviewing is that people need to feel motivated before they can change. Confidence is often born out of motivation. There are a lot of misconceptions about motivation, so we'll start by debunking a couple of myths. Myth number one is that until an individual is motivated to change, there is not much you can do. This isn't true. Motivation can take place at any point in the transformation process. So, even before an individual is willing to change themselves, clinicians, friends, family members can help this process along and influence an individual's motivation to change well before extensive damage is done to relationships, health or self-image. Myth number two is that it usually takes a significant crisis before an individual feels motivated to change. This isn't universally true. Although it may sometimes be the case, people don't always have to hit bottom to be aware that something needs to be done. Some things can enhance an individual's motivation for a change, such as increased anxiety about the problem, life events or milestones such as bereavement, illness or leaving home, recognising negative consequences for oneself and for others, and having a supportive network of friends and family. So, what can you do as a friend? Remember that motivation is influenced by human connections. Readiness for change both fluctuates over time and completely depends on the situation. It varies in intensity, faltering in response to doubts and increasing once those doubts are resolved. And motivation to change can be strongly influenced by friends, family, peers, clinicians, emotions and community support. So simply by being empathetic, you can help improve your friend's confidence in their ability to change. But I get that sometimes it can be hard to know how to even have those first conversations or how to show empathy, particularly if you don't have any personal experiences to draw from. But being there for your friend isn't about having all the answers. Instead, a great way of approaching these conversations is to focus on active or reflective listening, simply giving your friend the space to talk. How often do we say we're listening when we're not actually really doing so? Reflective listening is a way of communicating that you've really heard what your friend is trying to tell you. A way of reflecting back their own words and making them feel valued. The process can be helpful for reflecting back emotions that your friend might not even be aware of. Reflective listening involves phrases such as, it sounds as if, or what I'm hearing is that. So let's say your friend says, I'm just having vegetables for dinner tonight because I've been quite bad recently. I need to compensate. Don't worry, it's not like I have an eating disorder or anything. I'm fine, I just need to be good for a few days and things can go back to normal again. In this case, you could use the techniques of reflective listening by using a response like, it sounds like you're being quite hard on yourself. What is it about what you're eating that you think of as bad? Or maybe, it seems like you're measuring yourself by what you eat. As I said at the beginning of the video, we'll be talking some more about motivational interviewing next week, so do make sure to hit subscribe and all the links to the ways you can contact Student Minds or specifically talk about these videos are in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching.